I know it's been a long time since y'all seen me, but I'm back now. Um, and as you can see, your girl is a brace face now. So <laughs> you can already guess what this video is about to be about. So if you want to see my whole backstory and on how all this happened, then stay tuned. So I am headed to my orthodontics appointment. Um, I'm running late, of course, um, but I'm going to see um, if they can like even out my teeth, like um, these little ridges. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but my teeth aren't straight across and this tooth is chipped. So I'm seeing if they can um, like file it. I know it's a little machine they can use to kind of make all those little rigid areas on my teeth straight because I hate that like little baby teeth or something. I don't know why my teeth grew back in like that um, as a child, but either way, I'm going for like a perfect smile and I noticed like over time, it's more noticeable, at least to me. Other people may not notice it, but I do because it's my mouth. So <laughs> I'm um, headed to this appointment. <clears throat> my appointment is at eight o'clock and the GPS said I'll get there at like 7.52 and you're supposed to be there early, but I'll be getting there literally like right before eight o'clock, but it's all good. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping that they can go ahead and do it today because um, this is just a consultation or whatever they call it, yeah, a consultation, um, just to look at my mouth, take pictures and all that good stuff. So hopefully I'll get good news. So I'll try to bring y'all along with me. Um, excuse the light and the sun is rising, of course. Um, but I'll try to bring y'all along with me um, in the appointment if they let me vlog. You just never know. Some places are different, but I'll try to bring y'all with me so y'all can at least see um, you know them taking the pictures and doing the x-rays in my mouth and stuff i think that stuff is cool so i was like y'all might like it too so <laughs> um y'all will be coming with me hopefully so stay tuned okay so now i'm just waiting um <clears throat> i got here like 7 51 and you text them let them know you're here and then they'll text you back and tell you when you can come in of course that's the new procedure pretty much everywhere due to covid so I'm just waiting. I wore this Nike um, pullover. My brother got me like Christmas before last and it's burning me up. I am hot, even though it's like, it's 68 degrees outside, but that's why I wore it. But I am hot and I only have like just a camel saw on underneath, but I'm about to burn up. But yeah, hopefully they can, um, Hopefully they can get to me soon. I'm hoping um, because I don't want to be here all day. Uh, I want them to go ahead, do what all they got to do. Let me know if they can fix my teeth or not and I can be out. Oh yeah, and I also want them to, um, <clears throat> I hate when I start losing my voice. I also want them to like shave these fangs. I call them vampire teeth because they literally look like vampire teeth when I talk. So, mm -mm, that's not cute. Um, I want those gone. So hopefully they can like shave them down to where they at least like blend with the rest of my bottom teeth. Um, Cause they kind of sit out far too. So hopefully they can use that little machine to shave those, shave these and like even out where my chip tooth is. Oh, they're texting me now. So let me go on in. So they just took all the pictures and everything of my mouth. So hopefully um, I'll figure out if they can help me. I think they can from how she sounds. She's really nice. Her name is Morgan. She took all my pictures and x-rays. I'll show you all the screen because I like this place. They put your x-rays and stuff up on the screen. So you can see for yourself what your mouth looks like. And excuse my headshots, y'all. I'm looking crazy at all of them. It's early in the morning, so please excuse it. I'm looking all crazy. My mouth is red around from all the utensils I had to put in my mouth for the pictures and x-rays. So y'all please excuse it. It's bad enough my hair is red and my face is red too. So I'm looking all crazy on my headshots and everything. But I'm just waiting on the doctor to come in. 
with his final prognosis to see if they can help me. And hopefully I'll find out something soon. So those are my teeth. And the silver things on that picture are like my caps or fillings, whatever you want to call them, from the cavities I had when I went to my last dentist appointment. So don't mind that. Those are just silver caps. And these are my teeth, my ugly teeth. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. They're not that bad, but I just want some improvements. And y'all, my headshots are hilarious. Look at that one. I look like it looks like a mug shot. My two big buck teeth in the front. <laughs> but yeah, I like how they put everything up on the screen for you to see. I think that's really, really cool. So we shall see. <clears throat> so y'all, your girl gotta get braces. Yep. So yeah, I guess I'll be a brace face because the problem cannot be solved with just filing like I thought. I'm gonna need braces to pull these teeth down and everything. Hi, how are you? had an appointment to see um, if I could get my teeth shaved and if you don't know what teeth shaving is or fouling um, people call it a lot of different things but basically it's a tool that they use where you can um, even out the teeth and I don't know if you can tell with these braces but my teeth are like really pointy in some areas really rigid, like little squiggly lines, especially on my bottom teeth, um, that I've always had. The dentist explained that um, when you're a child, your teeth straighten out at the bottom by chewing. So I don't know why mine didn't straighten out, but my teeth remained like little kid teeth, basically with these little ridges and squiggly lines. So, I went in to, you know, see if I could get that fixed because I want adult looking teeth. <laughs> um, and it's something I've always wanted to get done um, for a while now. And I was scheduled to get it done back when I got my wisdom teeth pulled, but that doctor ended up going to another state and I was just left hanging. So went today to try to get it done. And I was told that there's no point in trying to even out or foul or shave my teeth without first getting braces because my teeth are uneven and if I get them shaved, it will just make the unevenness even more noticeable. So I was like, oh, I've never been told that before but I do know exactly what she was talking about because I've always noticed that my top teeth are much, well, mainly these two side teeth are way shorter than my two front teeth. They're not, they're not aligned. That's a better word, I think. Basically, they're not aligned. Um, so when I smile, well, you can't tell these braces on, but when I used to smile, I should say, when I used to smile, my teeth and i'll put some before pictures so you can see exactly what i'm talking about because i can't explain it that good but when i would smile my top teeth do not basically cover my bottom teeth so 
I need I I knew that it looked funny, but I didn't know that that was a problem. She said, "Yes." She said, "Your top teeth are supposed to overlap your bottom teeth. My top teeth aren't long enough to do that." So, the brace the goal of the braces is to pull down the shorter teeth to where number one, they're aligned with the rest of my top teeth. And so that it will fill in the gaps when I smile by overlapping the bottom teeth, basically. So I'll insert some pictures so y'all will try to put together what I'm saying, because I know I'm explaining it in a horrible way. But yeah, so that happened today. And the reason I went ahead and got them today, they were like, now you don't, you know, have to choose to do this. They were like, but if you want them to eventually be shaved and evened out across the bottom to get rid of the little rigid edges you have, and I have a chipped tooth also. I don't know if you can see it on camera. That I think it's this tooth. I can't tell on camera, but one of my teeth is chipped. One of my big front teeth are chipped. So um, they said in order for that to take place, I would definitely have to go ahead and get my teeth aligned first even first before they do that or otherwise it would just make the teeth that are short even shorter which would make the unevenness even more noticeable so that's basically what i'm trying to say <laughs> so that happened today and like i was saying the reason why i ended up getting them the same day as my consultation is because it was a discount of 375 dollars off and i was like uh yeah if i get them today i'll get a big discount so I went ahead and let them put on the braces to go ahead and get this process started. But what I didn't know is uh, it's not a quick process. I thought, you know, I was like, my teeth aren't that bad. So, you know, hopefully it shouldn't take long. I'm thinking about like five to six months, seven months at the most. She told me, <laughs> she gave me a time frame of a year and a half. And I'm hoping that's not true. I'm hoping it'll be shorter than a year and a half. If I do what I'm supposed to do, use the rubber bands like I'm supposed to, because I also have to like hook rubber bands onto my braces um, to, I guess, kind of pull, help pull my teeth down. Um, so hopefully by me doing that, doing what I'm supposed to do, these will be off in no time so that I can go ahead, get them shaved like I wanted in the first place and be done with all this. So, um, but everyone was really nice at the office I went to. Um, time I got there, they like gave me this little, this little gift bag, which is so cute. It just says like, it has a little emoji, smile more. Isn't that so cute? And so I thought that was really, really cute. And um, inside the bag, I know I saw a t-shirt. So they give you like a shirt. And it says, it's my first time looking at the shirt. Okay, the back has Birmingham Orthodontics on it. And then the front, what does it say? Oh, it just has the same thing, smile more. So yeah, that is so cute. And I also text my mom while I was there and I was like, mom, they said I need braces. And she was like, oh, I could have told you that. And I'm like, what? You've been noticing like my unevenness? <laughs> all this time and didn't say nothing and she was like well I thought you knew and the reason why I guess I didn't pay it a lot of attention is because of the way I was smiling to cover up my ridges I would smile like this like trying to cover up the bottom of my teeth so that you can see the ridges not noticing that my teeth were unaligned to where if I were to smile like I'm supposed to smile like an actual big smile that I had all kind of spaces and gaps and just it was it's just a mess i tried to vlog as much as i could um but it was just so much going on i just vlogged here and there um because they were just in it in and out of my mouth telling me stuff i need to do what i can't eat what i can't eat then they also gave me this little water bottle which is my favorite color i was like that's my favorite color purple it's so cute and i didn't look inside so i don't even know what's in here but i'm just assuming it's stuff to help me keep up my braces um Looks like this is a little pamphlet they put in here. Yeah, this is just telling you all the foods you can't eat. Stay away from popcorn, ice. Basically, all the hard, crunchy stuff is not good for braces. That's pretty much common sense. Um, and then this little thing is to help hook my um, rubber bands on where they need to go. 
<laughs> and these are the rubber bands. I got just clear ones. I told her to give me both colors um, because I, I didn't know what it would look like in my mouth and I don't want to be around here with a whole bunch of colors looking crazy. So <clears throat> I told her I need some water. I told her to get me clear and color just so I can experiment and see which ones I like best but I'm thinking I'll just go with the clear ones because I don't want my mouth looking all colorful um it's bad enough I'm almost 30 years old with braces on um <clears throat> and a nice toothbrush this is a travel toothbrush they put in here these are the little wax sticks she said to use these like if the wire is like poking my jaws um she said to just like take a piece off of each stick and like roll it around in my fingers a little while let it get kind of warm and then it sh oh make sure your bra braces excuse me your brackets are dry um first and then it should stick the wax should stick to the braces for those areas that are aggravated with the wire and here is just some regular floss i like how everything is purple i'm loving all this purple stuff y'all i love purple and the last thing in here is, um, I guess it's the floss plaque smacker. Yeah, so this is a floss, but it's funny looking. So a flosser, but it's funny looking. So I'm guessing it's specifically for braces. Um, so yeah, and it's purple as well. Ultra, ultra thin dental floss threaders. Um, Looks like that's something to help thread the floss. I mean, that's what it says. So, and they give you these. What's your thing for? Easy flossing around bridges and braces. Yeah, so these are just flossing things specifically for braces. So, that's everything that they gave me. If you guys want me to do a separate video on the cost and things like that, um, I will definitely do that for you. So just comment down below if you'd like to see the specifics on the process of getting braces, the cost, um, forms to sign, contracts, and all that good stuff. Just let me know down below. But yeah, so that's all. I thank you all so much, as always, for tuning in to my channel. I love you all so much. I love your comments. Please keep them coming. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.